online crew. So today what I'm going to talk about with you is something I get asked quite often and it's happened again this week. So I thought I'd talk about it to the wider crew here regarding why you don't want to mention the name of your company on social media and you truly want to brand yourself. There are a lot of new Okay, am I back? It's saying my connection is available. I have no idea how this video started or whether I'm actually live now, but uh, it told me that I had a poor connection and that potentially I wasn't live. So hopefully I am live again now. Perhaps I'll just start that all again. Hello Mel, how are you? So it means I've got comments today, which is a good thing, and it means that I'm back live. So I'm not sure how much you guys caught of the beginning of this video because I think the connection was poor from when I pressed the word go. So we'll start that again. Hey Olive, how are you? Thank you for saying hello to Henry. We're back in normal routine now, back from holidays. Had an awesome, okay Mel, thanks for that. Had an awesome interview with Edith yesterday. Hopefully you all caught that. Hey Andrea, good to see you on. Edith was a winner of our 14 day Facebook Live video challenge and although I had a few issues, hey Sean, uh, with my internet connection, which has happened again, right now. Uh, we got through the interview okay. So for those of you that watched that interview yesterday, thank you for your patience um, You know, with what was going on with my fuzzy face. Hopefully my face is not fuzzy today and uh, we're live and everything's going well. Hello Andrew, hi Laurie, good to see you guys jumping on. So what I was trying to say in the beginning before I had a connection issue, hey Monica, is a question I get asked um, quite often and it's happened again this week, is new people that are, like they're new to network marketing, hi Patricia, hey Jen, and they come online, they wanna come online straight away, like times are changing. Traditional network marketing of, you know, um, approaching your family and friends is not what, thank you Sean, is not what people wanna do these days. They wanna go straight to social media. But unless you really know how to navigate social media, um, you can actually shoot yourself, thank you Olive, um, you can actually shoot yourself in the foot really, really quickly on social media if you don't approach your business the right way. So what this question that I often get asked is what is the problem, what is the issue with mentioning my company name on social media? Why can't I have in the banner of my Facebook page my company, like people just don't get it. There'll be some of you that have been here with me in this community for quite a while that are quite educated on this, but I encourage you guys to share this message as well to new people coming onto social media about the reasons why we don't want to mention the name of our company on social media. And there's a few reasons for that. I'm gonna share five reasons with you on this particular video here. So those of you that are new to the industry, that are coming on social media, this is a really important message for you guys because you might think social media is the answer and you could destroy all the potential um, you know, people you could attract to your business by the way you approach your business on social media. And one of those things is mentioning the company name. And yes, Sean's just nailed it there. Your company should be your biggest secret. Now I understand there's people new to social media from this industry that go, I don't get it. Why would you keep your company name your biggest secret? So that's what I'm gonna share with you today to sort of hopefully increase your awareness and understanding of the, the, the damage that that can do to your business. 
okay? So if we haven't met before, my name is Helen Martin. I'm your online crew captain, and we have the most awesome online crew community here. We are home-based business owners, um, direct sellers, entrepreneurs, those involved in MLM network marketing, and we are here to leverage social media to learn how to build our business on online the right way. None of us want to chase people to buy anything off us or, you know, um, try to convince somebody to join us in our business. We truly want to attract people to us online through what we can do on social media. So what you do and how you attract people to you on social media is critical to your success. You can waste a lot of time on social media doing all the wrong things and sitting there going, why am I hearing crickets? I'm posting, I'm doing everything, you know, my outline tells me to do on the training, but I'm hearing crickets and you really don't understand the reasons behind that. So let's clarify some of those things. Hello, Crystal, good to see you on today. Um, Judy and Bob, oh my gosh, I'm clear and you can hear every word. This is a good thing. Yesterday was a bit of a uh, disaster, but all good. We're all good today. So we'll move forward. Hello, Billy Joe. Good to see you on. So I'm just going to run through a few quick things as to why this is really important to you um, regarding building a network marketing type business on social media. And it's really important that you guys understand this if you want any kind of future of building your business on social media. So the, the main sort of reasons is you want to maintain control of the information that people get. As soon as you mention the company name, some of you guys will know this, is what will people go and do with that piece of information? So if you ask me, what company are you with, Helen? And I blurt it out here and now, and some of you are not familiar with that company. Oh, I haven't heard of that company before. What are you going to go and do? Let me know in the comments below. What are people naturally going to go and do with that little piece of information that I've just told you? Andrew's already got it. Google it. Research it for themselves, that's why. Do we want people to research themselves? <laughs> or do you want to control the information that people see? Which one is the preferred option there, guys? So let me know. Uh, yeah, research, Andrew, it's exactly right. Google it, that's exactly right. Now what happens on Google searches? What ranks higher, guys, on a Google search? When somebody does a Google search, what's sitting right up the top? <laughs> Judy and Bob have pretty much said it there. They Google it and they will find something you don't want them to see. You have no control once people go to Google. And there is always something negative sitting up the top because that's what ranks higher. That's what, and there are people out there that will pay for ranking to get it higher that is a big, um, you know, massive negative sort of story about your particular company. Bad publicity, all of that. Hey, Chinta. Yes, Judy and Bob said it. You want to be in control of the information. So when you are mentioning your company name, when you are showing pictures of your product, there is no secret anymore. You know, is it, so I mention it now to those of you that don't know, you're gonna go and Google it. You don't need to ask me, you don't need to message me, you don't need to find out anything because you can just go and research all the information yourself. You do not want people to do that. That is game over. Sean said it at the beginning um, earlier, the name of your company should be your biggest secret. You can talk around it, you can talk about the benefits of the products, but you don't want to mention the name of the company itself. Judy and Bob, exactly, we've been there and done that over the years, and majority of people are still doing that. And they're plastering their Facebook, their social media with the name of the company, and it does a lot more damage than just people going and Googling it. So that's one thing. You lose control of the information that people will go and research. You always want to be in control of the discussion. You don't want people saying to you that, um, I'll, I'll just, I'll, I'll go and do some research. <laughs> no, 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 no. You want to control the videos that people see. You want to control um, you know, the information that people are led to with what their needs are, okay? 
The number two thing also relating to control is anybody in this industry, direct sales, network marketing, that kind of business model, you don't own it. You don't actually own that company to promote it as if it is yours, okay? And you need to protect yourself from the fact if something goes wrong with that company, and it does happen, guys, companies close down. So what happens to your social media presence when you've plastered your social media with a particular company for a period of time and something goes wrong, or you decide to leave the company? but your whole social media presence has been attached to a particular company. So let's say the company goes down, the perception of that is that, oh, well, their business is over, which essentially it is, but we are not in control of anything to do with a network marketing direct sales company. It's not yours to actually promote as if it is. Okay, you're just a distributor, you're an ambassador or something like that, and I'm not trying to degrade that, so don't take that the wrong way. But you want to stay in control of what you can control. And you can't be in control of stuff that you're literally not in control with, which is somebody else's business. So what can you control? You can control your own brand. You can control giving value to people around the benefits of the products without mentioning the name of the company that maybe one day you might leave or it, something may go wrong. You think of Advocare just recently, like their business, they just decided we don't want to run the network marketing arm of our business anymore, so just gone. So let's say this page I had, if I was with Advocare, Let's say I plastered that everywhere. I said it every day. I'm a proud distributor of Advocare. You know, what, what happens to my credibility and authority then when the business has gone under? I go under with it. Do you want that for yourself? And I'm not saying like, I know there's a lot of you with really reputable companies and that's not likely to happen, but just think about that. Goalposts change and you have no control over that. You can only control you, you can't control distribution, pricing, changes, management decisions, anything. You actually have no control. So be in control of what you can control, which is you and how you portray yourself on social media and building your authority and credibility on social media without being attached to a particular company. It's about you. It's not about the company at the end of the day. Okay? Okay. Uh, Judy and Bob, I love a good scandal, but only in the movies. Well put. We don't want a good scandal regarding our, our companies on Google, do we? Hi, Michael. How are you? Hey, Stephanie. Great to see you on. So you can't control somebody else's company. You, you're just a distributor or an ambassador. It's not for you to control. So when you promote yourself and attach yourself and align yourself 100% with a company name and something goes wrong, they go in a different direction, you go in a different direction. It's not your passion anymore. You want to join a different company. How's your credibility then? Oh, I'm just changing all my branding. It's not that company anymore. It's like this company. And people on the outside are going, okay, that's just another network marketing company. She couldn't make it work with that one. So what you know? I don't know about this girl. <laughs> hey, Dave, how are you? Dave, yes, build your own brand and give it value to all around you. Well said, Dave. So it's really dangerous and it doesn't protect you if you align yourself directly with a company on social media. It doesn't mean that you're hiding the company. We have a conversation with somebody. So meet people on social media, but then take it offline regarding what company you're with, what products you represent, and you know all those kind of things. So you want to protect yourself in all of this as well. Okay, so especially it does happen, guys. Statistically, people actually move network marketing companies if they stay in a career of network marketing seven times. 
Now, there are people that are loyal and stay with the same company for years and years and years, and that's admirable. And if they stay loving their company for that long, I think that's awesome. But there are people that will be that will jump around, and that's quite natural as well because you know your passions might change. Um, you know, different things come forward to you that align with you better. There's no dramas with changing companies. I've done it myself. But if I had my and I did it initially, I made a lot of mistakes that people are still making today, but a few years ago, and I had a Facebook page with my network marketing company in the banner, their products in the banner, and that's how I aligned myself. But I very quickly learned uh, I don't own them, they're not, me. they're not me, I'm me. I'm choosing to promote their products, but it's actually me. I am the brand, that's what I choose to promote behind the scenes, but it literally needs to be behind the scenes, because you are the brand. You think of somebody like, um, you know, and I use this example quite a bit. Like you think of somebody like Oprah. So Oprah, you know, holds up something in one of her shows and says, this is awesome. And it flies off the shelf. Now, whether it's product A or product B or product C or product D is actually irrelevant. It's the brand the credibility, the authority that she's built herself on television and through social media and things like that, that is the reason that people are buying. Be the reason that people are buying. So it's your brand and you are the one that's bringing the value to whatever it is that you've got you're selling behind the scenes. So Oprah is not a particular aligned with a particular company of any sort she promotes a whole lot of different stuff wouldn't it be awesome if you could get to that stage where you've promoted yourself so much that you've got a variety of products that you could um, promote and they sell off the shelves <laughs> but that's what we're aiming for so the third thing is increasing your credibility and authority on social media by branding yourself when you promote and put yourself behind a particular company, you literally just look like a salesperson for another company. That's what, that's what you are. You don't own it. You didn't create it. You're not the developer. You're not the founder. You don't make any decisions around it. You're literally just selling somebody else's product, which is what all of us do in this industry. You don't want to promote yourself that way on social media. You want to build your credibility and authority so people want to buy what you have no matter what that is. Does that make sense to you guys? Let me know if that's resonating with you because that's really, really important. You want to raise your profile, your credibility, your authority on social media, particularly if you don't have any in your life. What is the reason that somebody should buy anything off you? Why would anybody believe you that your products are better than anybody else's? What kind of authority have you got to talk about the products that you do? What kind of credibility do you have in business or in sales or anything like that? Like what is the reason that people should listen to you just because you're a salesperson for that? You're literally seen as a salesperson. When you build up credibility and authority by building your own brand, it raises the level of trust. People will buy off you when they trust you. People will buy off you when they believe that you are sincere. And that comes from you. It doesn't come from a thing. So when you can build credibility and authority and lead with value on social media, people will be drawn to you and buy from you because they trust you. That is a sustainable business. You can go on social media and go, this is my thing. This is the best thing since sliced bread. It's done this for me. I've got a powerful story. I used to have this. Now I don't because I use this and whatever. And that can work. I'm not saying it doesn't. But that's very short term sales focus. You want to establish a brand on social media that people follow you because you're you. And the opportunities that, think long term guys, the opportunities that you have for that with not only one network marketing company, you could develop your own product. You, you, the, the, the sky's the limit when people know, like and trust you on social media. So it's real, but you can only ever achieve that when you build your own brand. 
when you sit on a um, social media as a salesperson for another company, that's literally the extent of how people are going to see you. Do you just want to be seen as a sales rep for somebody else? Or do you have a desire to build your authority and credibility and get fans and followers and people that listen to you and follow you and trust what you're saying and use a piece of your advice and it makes a difference in their life? Isn't that where you want to position yourself on social media rather than just being seen as a salesperson for a company that you don't control? Okay, that's the difference with positioning. Yes, Laurie, be a friend. Don't be a salesperson, be a friend, build rapport, build communities on social media, build relationships on social media. You can only do that if you brand yourself, not by being a salesperson. So think longer term in really what you want to achieve. Um, yeah, <laughs> Crystal sort of said it there, salespeople can be so annoying, you don't want to be seen as that person. You want to be seen as somebody that people, that you know, that, that is trustworthy. And that's where you don't have to make the sale. You, well, you don't have to pitch for the sale. The sale just happens because you build your credibility and authority on social media by what you talk about, by what you teach, by the way you entertain or educate or inspire people by what you say on social media. That is so much more powerful and will give you so much more longevity on social media than just be seen as a salesperson or a sales rep. So really work out how you want to position yourself on social media and then have a think about the brand that you can create behind that. Have your customers at your best interest. Yeah, not just that you want to get in their pockets. Take a massive interest in them, Patricia. That's right. Crystal, I talk a lot about health, the human body, gluten. I work really hard to do the research for my lives. Awesome. Is that going to open up for me? Um, every day. So it shows that you care and you're passionate about what you talk about, Crystal, and people will follow you that are passionate about the same things you are. And if you recommend something somewhere down the line, they're more likely to trust you and buy from you than just Crystal turning up every day going, this is awesome, this has helped me like lots, you should buy some. It's just people see straight through that on social media. And what people used to get away with on social media um, you know, two years ago, even six months ago, doesn't necessarily work now. Sending people straight to a sales webinar, where's the connection for that? Where's the trust with that? There's a missing piece to that, which some of you, you know, when you're sending straight to a sales webinar, you need to think about your branding around that and, you know, incorporate something more to build your credibility and authority to get people to the webinar. It takes longer this way and most people are, are too impatient. Well, that's basically, Laurie, you've nailed it. Because building trust, you know, having a relationship with people and building, you know, trust takes time. And a lot of people in this industry don't want to take the time. They just want the instant gratification. They get sold a story that it's easy and it's not easy. You guys know that it's not easy. So yes, it takes time to build fans and followers on social media and build trust. But if you want a long lasting, stable business with repeat customers and a stable team and all that kind of stuff, this is where you need to position yourself because a strong sales rep type focus is only going to last so long unless you're somebody like Oprah, unless you're somebody that's got huge credibility and authority and you know, you're beautiful and you've got 100,000 people that just look to you and go, oh, she's amazing or he's amazing. And you just say something and they go, I want some. Like unless you're, uh, you carry that off at the moment in your life, there are people that can pull it off on social media and they're quite brazen on social media. And that's hard for a lot of people to watch because they're the people that say to me, but such and such is really, really successful and they're selling all the time. And it's like, yeah, but look at their following. Look at their credibility and authority. Are you at where they're at? If you're not at where they're at, you can't carry off what they can carry off. So we need to be careful of who we listen to and who we look at and who we admire in what they do. And we sometimes can't compare 
do you and what you should be doing with them and what they are doing because they've got a credibility and authority maybe on social media that you don't have. You mirror those kind of activities, it'll work for them, but it may not work for you if you don't have that same credibility and authority. Okay, absolutely, Andrew, lead with value and, um, you know, not your wallet. So, you know, the fourth thing, so the first one is controlling the information. The second thing is controlling your own business. You don't want to, you don't want to position yourself on social media as just being a sales rep for somebody else. You want to position yourself on social media as having your own brand, as having, you know, your own, your own business that you control. So if something goes wrong in the background, you're not affected by it. The third thing was um, building your credibility and authority, particularly on a business page. Like guys, there's so many of you that need to get off your personal pages and start doing this professionally and building you know, on a business page and doing it the right way. The fourth thing is the whole know, like, and trust factor. People buy off people in this industry. There are things that you will buy that you don't need a relationship with anybody. You can go into a bricks and mortar store or a supermarket, um, you know, or a Target or a big W or a big chain store and whatever. You don't need a relationship with anybody to walk into one of those stores and buy something. But in this industry, you do. It's a people industry. It's a networking industry. People buy off people before they buy your things. I might have the best product for you in the world that's going to change your life. But unless you, if you don't like me, you're not going to buy anything off me because this is a people business. So people buy off people. That's why we want to brand ourselves and not the actual thing. People don't care about your thing. They care about what the thing does. You're the person to send them the message about what the thing does and how it can potentially change their life. You're the one that can deliver the message. This can't deliver a message. It's a thing. People don't have a relationship with physical things. You're the one that can deliver the message to lead them to a thing that could be really beneficial for them. Do you see the difference between a person and a thing? And when you brand yourself, you're the one that's helpful. You're the one that showed them the guiding light. You're the one that solved their problem for them. You're the one that suggested something to them that really, really helped them. So be that person and that brand that helps people for what they, what they need. Um, it's not about things, guys. It's about people and it's about building relationships. And where a lot of people get it wrong on social media is they just post because they can. And they know that there's over 2.3 billion people on Facebook, you know, just on that platform alone, every single month, active users, awesome. I'll just post some stuff and get it out there and people will buy. Not anymore. Maybe a few years ago, people in network marketing that were at the forefront of social media, that might've worked really, really well. It doesn't anymore. It just doesn't wash anymore. We've got to build relationships with people to get them to know, like, and trust us. And one of the hugest ways you can do that is building your own brand behind it. This is the future of our industry on social media. It's all about branding yourself and not pushing your company or your products down people's throats. It just, it's, it's, if that's what you're doing, if that's the strategies that you are being um, taught, it's not going to last. And you know, that leads me to my fifth thing is social media is really super sensitive to our industry. And we've got to keep up with that and be very aware of the sensitivities around our industry on social media. You take Facebook alone. Facebook, whether we like it or not, does not like our industry. And they are making moves, um, increasingly making it harder and harder for people to promote things. You may not see it on surface value, but you do a post and they're scanning in the background words that you're using, pictures that you're doing. If you're seen to be promoting a business of this sort on social media, your uh, uh, organic reach is uh, basically nothing. So that's where a lot of people say, I'm doing all the right things, but I'm not getting any engagement or I'm hearing crickets. It's like, well, your posts aren't being seen by anybody because Facebook's limiting your organic reach because they don't like what you're doing. 
And the other, even those of you that are doing paid advertising, your uh, Facebook doesn't like our industry. And it doesn't mean, I don't want you to scare you off, um, you know, Facebook advertising. I'm doing a boot camp in my coaching community next week regarding the basics of Facebook advertising. Um, you know, message me if you want to know a little bit more about that. I'll talk about more of that about tomorrow, actually. Um, but I don't want to scare anyone off Facebook advertising. It's possible, but you've got to increase your skill level to know what you're doing because Facebook doesn't like this industry. And it will either disapprove your ads or shut down your ad account. Worst case scenario, it might even shut down your page if you don't know what you're doing. So we can't afford any more in this industry to pussy foot around and play around and be really amateur about what we're doing on social media in this industry. We need to raise the bar, you need to be more professional, you need to build your own brand to protect you from all the things that I've already just mentioned and particularly with the way social media is moving with our industry. Particularly Facebook, it's amazing when you know how to leverage it but it can be very damaging if you don't know what you're doing. So you've got to start with the brand and then learn how to promote the marketing side of it. And this is a big downfall with network marketing. Everybody talks about networking, prospecting, talking to people, write your list, get through those people, make Facebook friends, um, you know, increase your network, all that kind of stuff. And that's all cool. But the marketing side of it is really what's important on social media. So if you don't know much about the marketing side of it, including branding, then, um, you know, that's a skill you need to learn. Those of you that have been around me for a while have got a lot of branding training from me in the past, and I'm just about to do next week my 10th round of my full branding course where I can work with you for a month to sort out your branding, what you stand for, is it product focus, is it business focus, what's your actual brand, what do you want it to be, who's your target market, who's your customer avatar, what are you talking about, you know, all that kind of stuff. So feel free to join me next week. We start on July 15th for the branding course. Send me a message or, um, I don't know, put your favorite emoji down there, I'll try to decipher through the comments. Uh, better off to just message me. Um, you know, if you want some information around that, or just go to uh, www.helenmartinonline.com forward slash branding, and you can look at the information there. But aside from that, just please raise your level of professionalism in this industry and sort out your brand. This is the future of where your business lies. Um, you know, for this industry on social media, okay? It's really, really important for you to sort out what do you stand for? Who are you helping? Who is your target market? Who is your customer avatar? Do you really want to promote your products or do you really want to promote your business? You know, what angle do you want to go down? How are you going to build fans and followers? What are you talking about? What value are you giving? All those kind of things are what incorporate building your brand. So if you don't know where to start, let me help you. There is help available to you, but it's your responsibility to, you know, start building a brand. And honestly, guys, I would do it now before everybody starts doing it because Facebook is just going to make it harder and harder and harder. We already know Facebook has told us that the future of Facebook is private. So if you are solely on your personal profile, just doing lives over there and posts and curiosity posts and stuff like that, which is fine, um, it's going to be more of a private network for our personal profiles moving forward in the next six months to year to 18 months. So it's going to be really hard for you to get any traction off a personal profile moving forward in this industry. So you really do want to look at a business page, branding a business page and building up a brand and, you know, fans and followers slowly now before everybody does, because it's going to be the only place that you can get exposure you're not gonna be able to get that kind of exposure on a personal profile moving forward. So if you're not listening and you're not moving with the times, it's gonna be really hard for you to build a business on social media in this industry. Okay, so just take that for what it is, where you're at in your journey, but get serious about branding. And if you need some help with that, um, you know, more than happy to work with you over the next month to help you sort out your brand. You can have a fully 
worked business page or a rebranded business page if you don't have a very good one. Um, you know, content creation moving forward, all of that kind of stuff, I can help you with that. Olive, branding course is an absolute must to get started in social media. You want, um, oh, thank you, Sean. It's the word branding though, <laughs> close. So Sean's got the link there, um, but it, it's the word branding, not the word brand. Um, but thank you, Sean. Um, it's the foundation of everything moving forward. Everything moving forward is establishing your brand because uh, it's all about building no like and trust and that's when people will buy off you guys is when people trust you. So over to you to do that what you're with. I know there's lots of you that are already building your brand so keep going. I know that this is the longer way around and people just don't want to wait sometimes. They want the instant gratification. But if you're in this industry for the long haul, this is definitely something that you need to do as a foundation of your business. You will have uplines that say to you, don't get distracted with building a brand. You don't need a business page. Just do everything on your personal page. Yes, you can still build curiosity and intrigue on a personal page now, but it is going to be more privately focused to only friends and family moving forward from what Facebook has told us that their changes are going to be. So if you want a broader network, if you want to reach more people than just your family and friends, if you only want to reach your family and friends and you've got a million family and friends, all good, <laughs> no problems, but not everybody has a large network. So if you want to have content that's publicly available and utilize the exposure that the internet gives us moving forward in the future, a business page is really where you need to be. And you just play around with it now, set it up, it's free. Facebook Lives are free. Putting content on Facebook at the moment is free. You know, it's, but if you wanna do Facebook ads somewhere down the line, if you've got a business page, you can. You've got options, you've got choices. You don't have to. Um, but you, you have choices and Facebook are giving, um, is that the link that worked for you, Sean, with the word brand should be the word branding. Interesting. I'll go and check that out. Thank you, Sean. Um, I uh, lost my train of thought now. Doesn't matter. Um, doesn't matter. Just foundation guys. Branding is the key to everything moving forward. Um, you know, I, what I'm saying, it always comes back, is while all these things are free, like you don't have to pay to set up a page, you don't have to pay to do Facebook Lives, you don't have to pay to do posting on social media, you know, all those kind of things. Invest a small amount of money in going on like, a, you know, a branding um, course like mine or anybody's, like it doesn't really matter who, just get your branding sorted out and get your foundation so you don't waste your time on social media because you can waste a hell of a lot of time doing lives and posting and stuff like that and hearing crickets. And I don't want that for you. You want to set up your foundation and know exactly who you're talking to and exactly what value you're giving to that particular audience to make it worth your while. So you can build up thousands of fans and followers over time that get to learn to love you there is enough people out there in the internet for you to have your own tribe. All of you can have your own fans and followers. Just be consistent. Don't ever give up. <laughs> You're not allowed to do that. Show up. Show up and do lives when you don't feel like it. Post continually, but always focus on value first, wallet second, and the people will come and the money will come. The money will come. You want to earn more money, become more valuable on social media. How do you become more valuable on social media? Build your brand. Build your brand. Think of Oprah again. She holds up something and it flies off the shelves. Why? Because people know, like, and trust her. They love her. Create that for yourself on social media. It's possible. Anything's possible, isn't it, guys? Let me know that you agree. Anything's possible. Show up, show up, show up. Yeah, even when it gets tough, Patricia, even when we think we're talking to nobody, um, you know, even though we're getting little engagement sometimes on videos and, you know, posts and stuff like that, just keep showing up and giving good value and your tribe, you know, your, if you, as long as you know what you're doing with your branding and you've got your foundation set right, you know, your target market and your customer avatar and, you know, all the rest of it, you, you've, you've got to find the right skills to do it properly, okay? So you need pens, Helen. 
What do I need pens for? <laughs> pens, yes. Um, okay, so I've talked more than long enough. I didn't put the timer on today. I've been away. I'm out of I'm out of action with my little timer that Vivi sort of got me. So thank you for being with me live here, guys, today. Those of you that are already doing your branding, keep going, guys, and kudos to you for being in on the front foot of where we need to be on um, social media. Uh, so Olive, branding works for you. Brand changes to branding automatically. Interesting. Thank you, Olive. So hopefully either of those links will work. But I will see you guys same time, um, same place tomorrow. I'm going to talk a little bit about Facebook advertising tomorrow. So please join me then. I look forward to seeing you then. Have an awesome, yeah, too long today, Sean. I'm back. I'm back in the seat away from holidays and I needed to chat perhaps. <laughs> but hopefully a really good message that, um, you know, you're taking in from all of this because it's really really important to your success on social media okay so I'll see you guys tomorrow bye